Recorded live in Austin, Texas, USA, it's The William Montgomery Show. Starring William Montgomery. With the Tony Chin Orchestra. The William Montgomery Junior Dancer. As always, William is joined by the lovely Erica. I'm Brett Erickson. And now, here he is. The Big Red Machine, William Montgomery. Oh, the mine came on. There we go. Mine came on. Unclipped. Is yours a hand? Yeah, uh, yeah it's coming back in. Okay, good. Is yours a floating hand fist links away? Mm-hmm. That's what Grant said. Floating. Second. Or hang 10. Or hang uh, 10. Ah, oh, yeah. It's a little further, hang 10. Hang 10, yeah. That's... Yeah, it's like how are you do it? It depends on how you do the. <laughs> Nobody does it. Did like you do it that. like this? Hang ten, guys. Hang ten. Oh, right. It's not an exact science, but is it? Wait, hello. Nose. It's nose bridge. to hang ten. Bridge hey, man, or it could be a phone. <laughs> hey, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> That's just for the ear part. The whoa. What? Oh. <laughs> was that before? That was before you took this up. That was before I had a little Asiago cheese bread for breakfast. Mm. Oh, wow. I could roll that. Turkey meat. Is this toasted or? <clears throat> yeah, it was frozen in the freezer. Capper put it in the freezer, so I had to thaw it out on the damn skillet. So it lasts longer. Do you have a mic? Would you put it in the microwave or just a skillet? Just turn I, it to rubber? I went straight skillet. Yeah, it was very rubberous. Very rubberous. Robert rubberous. That's so weird you brought that up. Yeah, yeah it was at, today's his birthday, the 11th, oh. April 11th, Robert Roboros. <laughs> <laughs> we miss Happy you. birthday, Robert, RIP. I know, we do. Yeah. We miss him. Yeah, he's a, he was a nice guy, dude. He's always treated me well. Nick, yeah, weren't y'all, we y'all lived, were friends? We were friends, then we became enemies, mm-hmm. and then we became friends yeah. again. That's always cool when you can kind of get back to... It was like a it was like a trilogy movie series where it was like a first first movie we built our friendship up, second movie we destroyed it and tried to take shut it down, third movie come You're back together for that. Los Angeles and the alien person is chopping Gary Busey in half. Mm-hmm. Was there ever a third predator or was it just predators? There was the, there wasn't a predator so three many was there? Of them. It was Predator One, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Classic. Classic, yeah, that's Big a hand total. Shake. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, Arnold. You son of Thanks, a bitch. Thank you for the meme. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then Predator Two, Back in the Big City. That one was in New York City. Danny Glover, that was awesome. New yeah. York, okay. New With York the Jamaican Pete, there's a Jamaican crew in that oh, one. Oh yeah. <laughs> then number three, I think he took on Alien, Alien versus Predator. Mm. Yeah. Who wins that battle? I believe predator. Well, kind of, I don't know. Everyone kind of, I think it was a draw. Yeah. Because at the end, the predator like the predator gets away the uh because his other family comes down and then they have like a mutual respect because the humans help the predator. Oh, his other the, family shows up. His other family shows up. And then <laughs> like baby, what? what are you doing? Yeah. But then they doing? take his dead body into space and the final scene is the alien busting through the predator's chest. Oh. It's like Freddy versus Jason, kind of. It's just like... Yeah. They, just it's kinda, a like, maybe. Maybe. Like, the hand comes out of the water. It's like, oh, but what? I do have to say, I did like the new one they put out on Netflix, Prey, about when the Predators, the first time the Predators come down and they fight the like the Indians. What is, Ooh, on, the, on Hulus? On Hulus, yeah. Is that a good... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one. Hulus. <laughs> Hulus. <sighs> Predator 1 still holds up. Did you make this yeah, collage that. yourself? <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> impressive. <laughs> Just do, do, do. Oh, that's right. Adrian Brody was in one. And then who's the person behind me? It looks like they have a thyroid condition with their eyes or something. <laughs> that's the, <laughs> that's the main character from the new one, Prey, where that she's, oh, she's from a tribe, a Native American tribe, and they fight. Even the predators have arrows. They don't even have lasers yet. <laughs> like, yeah, they were set back a couple hundred years. <laughs> yeah, their technology. <laughs> yeah, but they're still able to like fly a spaceship through space. But they get here and they have like darts and arrows instead of like the lasers. Like, what the hell is this part? Is he? Can he still be camouflaged? Yeah, he's still like kind of camouflaged. Yeah, it's wild. I wonder what happened with the laser technology. <laughs> yeah, I wonder <laughs> how he can be camouflaged, but not the. Or maybe he hasn't sure. earned his gun yet. Maybe that was it. Something like that. Earn yeah, your gun. Earn a shoulder gun. gun. I have no clue. 
So, Nick, you famously do a podcast. I know. When you saw that thing come out, <laughs> shit was getting blasted. Because <laughs> it had, like, an automatic aimer on it. Yeah. There's three dots. There was no turning yeah. back once that fucking asshole came out. Oh, my gosh. I remember when he gets the one guy in the head, and it's like a little fucking waterfall that comes out on the camera. Yeah. Of the blood. Oof. Nasty. Scary. Scary. Pretty scary stuff. Nick, you famously do a podcast where, what, you talk to the people for a minute? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It started off as like an anti-talk show. I started doing a look a few more longer episodes because people were asking for them, but um, a lot of things have been happening in the last few months with like the new job, and so I just haven't really filmed any new ones yet, so I've been a little bit of a hiatus, but we're coming back strong with one-minute episodes again because I like that better. And you mentioned a new job. It Was it a Wendy's or a Burger King or... Jack in the Box. Yeah, the training. Oh, we the live close by one. Yeah, the training is so, um, like, it's just intensive. It was like a 12-week training to learn how to make the tacos. It's a boot camp. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You live yeah. there, you eat there, you fuck there. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that was the weird, that was, that was like day seven of orientation. They just kind of sprung it on us. Like, all right, you're going to have sex in the walk-in. This is how you do it. And they should have a whole presentation between the two managers and those two guys really showed us how to do it. <laughs> was there like a cot back there? Or people just doing it on the floor? Or? Oh, just sta freestanding in oh, the middle standing. of the walk-in, yeah. There's no bags of flour or anything? No, no. Yeah, it's always good if you can lean somebody up against like a bag of flour or something. And I walk in, yeah. <laughs> Come on, bitch. You could tell, but you could really <laughs> tell that was their favorite day of training. That was their favorite day. I could imagine. Welcome to the box. Welcome to the box. How may I take your jack? <laughs> <laughs> Is, that Is that true that they do that? It's welcome to Jack's. You ready to eat our box? Oh, cool. oh. that's how we're supposed to say it. Oh, wait how did how did you say? <laughs> welcome to the box. How can I take your jack? <laughs> <laughs> It kind of, they like train you to talk like kind of like NPR, right? Yeah. So it's very soft. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hey, how's it going? But that's yeah. why people go. That's why I go. I love how the people sound over the yeah. speaker at the Jack in the Box. They're like, I mean, hi, how are you I doing? Go. You ready to munch in this box today? We've got tacos. They used to be 99 cents. Now they're $1.39. Inflation. What can you say? They're not 99 cents. Ooh, no. Two for a dollar? Two for like a dollar fifty now. <gasps> Oh, no, Jack in the Box is getting Ooh. taken from behind. That's the walk-in. Him in the walk-in. Yeah, that was... <laughs> and, like, an executive. It might be I don't know why the other man... I don't know why the general manager was uh, dressed like a, a Mountie police officer, but that's what he wanted. That was what Jack was into. What day do you meet Jack? Uh, he was there from day one. He was a great guy. He's like, you know, you're part of the fam the Box family. <laughs> that's pretty uh, cool. He yeah, shows he up from the beginning because you think he might be, like... Yeah, he Big really for his britches now. You know, he really, not do that. we really were, we really built a great rapport up until that day seven when he just like, all right, guys, coming to the walk in. And he dropped his pants, and that guy just walked up right behind him and said, "This is how you fucking the walk in. This is how you do <laughs> <laughs> This is how you do, Jack. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, really good tacos, pretty good milkshakes. I think I had a good Some milkshake last time I was there. Mm, yeah, I like very good cookies and cream. What's, what's this? Is this some little fan art from you, Gran? Or, <laughs> or what is this? Very busy drawing. This, this is actually this is actually in every in every uh, manager's office behind his desk. This is framed. Just. I'm yeah. starting to think the Jack guy's a perv or something because he really shouldn't be doing stuff where people are having sex and a walk in a week into orientation boot camp. He shouldn't be doing that. I'm shocked he hadn't gotten in trouble for that. He's Jack. You can't do nothing to Jack. Yeah, you can't do Jack shit about that. <laughs> <laughs> that so not at all. Was he? Um, I've heard was he had a normal human face and then like day one like halfway through the day he takes it it's an undercover boss and then he has the big head on right um oh my gosh look actually at like whoa he is beefed up i'm sorry i just got distracted what did, what did you say again yeah Can look see? at the bulge on that <laughs> bastard <laughs> yeah <laughs> and he's sweating and he's kind of shy yeah. Oh, he's yeah. He's, yeah. he's getting <laughs> shot. He's embarrassed. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is, I don't know if I should. Yeah. This is what ja this was like. Jack's Jack's first day of training. He's like, I don't want to get naked. I, <laughs> I just wanted to make burgers. <laughs> is that what his body kind of looks like? Oh, dead to the T. Eight, <laughs> eight, eight tack like that, dude. He's got the dead v. to rights, dead to rights, dude. <laughs> dead to rights. That's Jack. 
Good God. Uh, that's probably why people don't say anything, because I think other places if it's somewhat Dude, gross. It's not sexual harassment if you're like, hot. You know yeah. what I mean? It's just yeah. not. Yeah. It's just cool. It's just cool. <laughs> if you're super hot, it's just cool if people are like kind yeah. of flirting with you. Yeah, this know. is my boss. It's like this is our boss. <laughs> this is gonna be the cool. best summer ever. <laughs> 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 and then they turn the song on, then this is how they do it, and he starts having sex with somebody. And the weirdest part is it's not even like a sexy song. It's the theme song. It's the new advent it's the new adventures of Winnie the Pooh, you know? And he's just like, We're getting down to this. And I'm like, What? And he's like, Gotta get going, gotta get up, gonna see a friend of mine. I'm like, what are you doing, Jack? Like, oh, I thought you were talking about that the this is how we do it song. I was thinking that's super aggressive. No, no, it was I thought it was gonna be something like that, but it was actually just the Winnie new, the Pooh. Winnie I the sleep the Pooh with Winnie song. the Pooh every night. He's a squishmallow. He I goes, where's Poo? Oh, awesome. <laughs> and hey. Then, and then he started calling him Winnie, and I was like, wouldn't you Winnie. start calling him Winnie? Oh, that's when the, oh. <laughs> yeah, well, a couple months ago, <laughs> like whatever. Winnie. <laughs> and Winnie Winnie. stinks. He smells. He gets stinky at night. <laughs> <laughs> he sweats Yeah, well, a lot. I sweat a lot in my sleep. I, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, I mean, I, I have night sweats. And everything Erica's smells under a little eight sour. Blankets. Uh-huh. Everything doesn't smell a little sour. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> On your side, it does. Smell his neck. Sour. Doesn't oh, smell my neck. Smells neck. What is, what's, it smells pretty good, actually. He showered. Is right that now. Irish Spring? I tricked you. <laughs> no. <Frank>. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's uh, I don't like Doctor Brown. The Axe three in one body wash. She doesn't let me put on Axe. What? I don't like aerosol. Yeah, she it gets stuck in the air. Oh, yeah. There's no windows in our house. Oh, is this from the new Winnie the Pooh live action <laughs> horror <laughs> movie? Terrifying. Blood and Honey. Blood and oh, Honey. Oh, oh, yeah. Was that actually? Yeah, I think that's legitimately it. Oh, man. Oh, so scary. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Convincing the world he didn't smell like shit. Damn. <laughs> so scary. Look at that smile. Completely toothless. <laughs> Did you see that movie? Uh, yeah, I, know, I, I didn't even know this scary. existed. Yes. Identical. Cool. <laughs> Whoa, <there he> is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Not a very convincing head, but that's fine. It's the lady from Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> Looks got like her. John Goodman from R- Dresses or Zan with a Winnie the Pooh head on. Oh. No. Jack Skellington. <laughs> yeah, Jack Skellington. <laughs> <laughs> scary. Very scary. Not nice, Winnie the Pooh. Not nice. Not a nice one, but the one I sleep with every night is very nice. Kind of. He's from the Hundred Acre Woods. <laughs> That's where Robin Hood is from. Same universe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Same yeah. universe. Fair it's enough. The Fair enough. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> the multiverse. <laughs> multiverse, dude. Anything can happen. <gasps> Winnie the Pooh. Oh, that's a little friendlier. Yeah, that's my Winnie the Pooh. Really huh? sweet. Yeah. How big is this Pooh Bear you'd be sleeping with? He's like a 12 inch Squishmallow. Oh, okay. That's not bad. Yeah, good enough where you can really hold him. I really I want to get a giant life size one to just put in the apartment, just like sitting in a chair in the living room, just never meant. Just what a Winnie the Pooh or a Squishbellow? A giant Winnie the Pooh. I think it'd be cool. Like his canonical <laughs> size. You know, like you get those giant bears from Costco. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. But I want one this Winnie the Pooh. That so would... like nine by ten. Yeah. <laughs> that'd be so giant... expensive because that's uh, yeah. licensed. Oh character. yeah. That's I don't true. like where he's touching it. There it oh, is. Yeah, that's, that's what you have. Oh, that's awesome. not where you. That's touch literally it. it. No. <laughs> You know, yeah, yeah I not, never touch Wendy right there. He's getting harassed hard. You have to, like, touch him really soon. When did he get hired at Jack? <laughs> oh, fired. <laughs> fired. <laughs> well, congratulations, though, on getting that gag. Yeah, thank you. I mean, it's it's, it's pretty good. Let me eat all the curly fries I want. <sighs> Ooh, curly fry breakfast. I love when you get regular fries and there's accidentally a curly fry. <laughs> or is that on purpose? You know what? I wonder if... You know, I'm going to start doing it on purpose just now. I'm going to just put one, the good ones. It's Not that a shitty great half surprise. curl, uh-huh. but like the curl, you know? Yeah, I want to. Oh my gosh, that made me think, are, y- are y'all going to see this new movie about, uh, who is it about, Erica? Bob Ross, but it's not. Bob Ross, but it's what's his name? Have y'all heard about it? Yes, Owen's, I've seen Owen like Wilson. clips of it on Instagram. It's like, yeah, is it's it like. good? It looks funny. It's it. Owen Wilson. It kind of looks, is it a Wes Anderson film? No. Like no. a, kinda, uh, it's a guy who did Napoleon Dynamite. And Nocto Libre. I I oh, okay. It. Oh, is it really? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm down Now to you're it. in, see? My little brother messages me about Napoleon Dynamite all the time. 
He does. That's yeah. a wonderful yeah. <laughs> classic movie. I loved watching that. Yeah. The internet calls me, uh, says I look like Kip. I mm. see it. You look like Kip. Mm-hmm. The brother. The brother, yeah. Who's trying to make the time machine? <laughs> Didn't it zap him in the balls yeah, or look, something? Yeah, it's so funny. I was like, oh, look, they're making a bio a, a biopic on Bob Ross, and then it was just like a completely different character. I was like, oh, this is going to be funny because they don't have to be very respectful to Bob Ross at all. They're well, gonna... hopefully they are. But what? it's not him. Yeah, no, I was thinking it was some um, biography. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. They, so they're going to be able to do whatever they want. So just, yep, there it is. There's me. When He's painting. I've had my mustache and those glasses right now. Mm. I'm missing so. Well, you have your mustache up. tattoo on your finger. You were showing Grant and I that earlier. That's right. There I am. Casey, Man. would you ever get a mustache tattoo right there? Just like how Nick does? Yeah. Get a get, different one. Get the Tom Selleck. Good evening. <laughs> Yeah, sure. If Nick wanted it. If yeah. Nick wanted me to. Fancy that. Hey, can we bring in the tattoo artist? <laughs> there you are. Was that no. a painful place on your finger? It was actually pretty painful, yeah. Damn. It was pretty painful. I got a lot of tattoos, and I'd have to say the finger. Like, I mean, it was it was like a minute, though. Unlike when I got like the back of my calf done or my chest done, I was like, okay, this is a couple hours worth of this sucks. Damn. You got one... Uh, you got one down there too. Um, the shaft, <laughs> the shaft is uh, on the shaft. No, it's a it, the shaft is just a barber pole. <laughs> oh, it's cool. A, you know, that's nice. My pickup line is, you, "Who needs a haircut?" Mm. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> do you have any piercings down there? That's hot. No, no, I didn't want to do that. I'm not that crazy. Damn. I have a King Edward. A King Edward. That's where it's at the the base. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's not just completely through. Yeah, but, but not at the What's end, the like the Prince, Prince Albert. Ad- the Prince, yeah, Albert, Prince Albert. Albert's the one at the bottom. You got one up at the base. Yeah, King Edward. The King Edward, yeah. Yep. Got the crown. Got the crown down there. That's what makes me sweat so much at night. <laughs> <laughs> Something does, or I have some horrible problem, or some horrible <laughs> undiagnosed health issue. <laughs> you, get a, you get a crown around, around the head. <laughs> <laughs> it's, all, it's all bejeweled. Damn, pretty cool to think about. This is the guy that invented the. This is King Edward, the inventor of the King Edward. He's like, you know, put a rod through the top of my base at the base. Put the rod at the top of the base. Rod. Rod. So, how do you sleep? People want to know. How do you sleep? Do you sleep hot? Do you sleep cold? Do you sleep with a bunch of built blankets or on your tummy? Um, I love falling asleep on my tummy. Like that's where I feel like the most comfortable. But I always wake up like on my back. So I, I'll, I eventually will roll over and and then um, that'd be kind of scary. Like I didn't fall asleep this way. Yeah, but I mean, I'm, one time I did. One time <laughs> I woke up with my head at the bottom of the bed, and I went to sleep with my head at the top. <laughs> of the bed. I wonder what moved you, or I wonder what happened. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Do you think something moved you? It could have been. Could have been Slender Man. Could have been. Don't kind of say that. It could have been him. He's he's done it before. We don't say that on this. Yeah, podcast. I mean, it could have been a demonic. Oh. I mean, it's a spiritual warfare. Seriously, I wonder what moves you. It was just Easter. I know. Did you go to church on Easter? Uh. Uh-uh. I wasn't raised religiously. My you parents. Were. My parents taught us to um, treat us the way you want to be treated. Um, be respectful. Be grateful. Do all the chores we tell you to. And do them how we told you to. What kind of chores are we talking? Like pulling weeds, mowing the lawn. But they Smelling were like the lawn, mowing the lawn. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. a lot of lawn stuff. But you then, have a big lawn. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> yeah, had it was huge, like a big yeah. yard. Yeah, we had two acres. <laughs> okay, two acres. It sucked. It was a lot. It felt like punishment at the time. But then I went to college and took a Buddhism class and realized that they, without them knowing, because they have no clue about Buddhism at all, but they were teaching me how to be zen, be zen and like a little Buddhist. I was like, oh. So, do you enjoy not having to do the yard anymore? Or do you still? Oh, I work? absolutely hate yard work. I'm like, I but you'd be it. good at it. You know, oh, I know. You know I know exactly how to do it. Yeah, yeah. I know exactly how to do it. Guy yeah, lived at a place in Denver, and the dog would always shit on the ground, and I would mow the yard sometimes, and it'd just be shit flying everywhere, and I'd be like, <laughs> "Fuck this! This is horrible." Yeah, I had to pick that up too. I had, we had like dogs and stuff. Yeah, Damn. good old chores. One time I mowed over a snake on accident. Freaking damn. Bye bye. <laughs> Would it just fly out? <laughs> Wood chipper. Yeah, yeah that snake sounds chipper. like a bloody kind of <laughs> snake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they, yeah. <laughs> they scream sometimes. 
No, don't. <laughs> Groundhog just sticks its head up at the wrong time. Bye bye. It's happened before. Welcome to heaven. Newest member. Yeah, newest, newest member, member to heaven. Where, where's Michael? Where's Michael? <laughs> <laughs> You're in heaven. Where's Michael? <laughs> we need him in here now. <laughs> did he get lost somewhere? How'd he get lost? <laughs> that would suck if you ended up dying and you're up in heaven and you're you just get lost and you're like shit. You can't you fight go- anybody. Yeah, you can't find anybody. But then you're like, oh my god, am I in hell? <laughs> Where is everybody? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the first day of hell. They like they trick you. You're like, I'm in heaven, but nobody else made it. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Where's my mom? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that'd be bad if hell was like. Oh my gosh, if there was a hell, and then that would be bad if that's how it. You're just like, oh my god, what is this? And then they're like, sorry, you're actually in hell. You get there, and they're like, there's not a, that many people here, and you're like, purgatory's overcrowded. <laughs> yeah, you see the guy walk away that you think is Jesus, and you see like a little devil tail kind of poking out of the bottom, and you're like, fuck, who is? <laughs> Do you think they're running out of space <laughs> of capacity? In heaven and hell. Both. There's been a lot of dead people. It's been over a thousand this year alone. Yeah. And think of all the other years. So many years. So many thousands. Hundred thousand, two hundred thousand. Easy in India, probably. Do you think it's probably in India? Squishy in there. With bodies. Every both of them. Oh, just oh, get me out of here. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, it's so squishy. Oh, (laughs) yeah, it's so squishy. (laughs) This is heaven. I hate. Excuse me. I gotta get to the bathroom. (laughs) And yeah, there's I, no bathrooms. None. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, this That's is what you heard? <laughs> yeah. Scared yet? Scared of heaven yet? But it, yeah. what about Picture diapers? It's Picture a universe right. where you die mm. and go to heaven and can't ever use the restroom, but you really have to go. Picture that. Oh, and the diapers go <sighs> go on your face too. Yeah, you change a di- oh. you change your baby on the baby change a table and it collapses sometimes. Oh, man. <laughs> Just like, would... why? We're supposed to be in heaven right now. My baby bumped his head. Yeah, I mean, who do I talk to about <laughs> this? My baby's hurt right now. <laughs> yeah. Got a huge knot on his forehead. Looked like an Easter egg. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see. It probably, yeah. I don't know. Hopefully it's... That's just... No, no vacancy. Yeah. That always confused me. What does that mean? You can stay at the hotel or you cannot stay at the hotel if it <laughs> says cannot. no vacancy? You cannot. Because vacancy is open. Mm. So vacancy, when you see vacancy, that means that they have rooms. And then when they were full back in the day, it's flat. They'd turn the, the red one on so people wouldn't stop and bother them in the office. And It's like a way to prevent human interaction you didn't want. Because like you're not going to make any money off them. Mm. Uh, those motel, ho- those motel ho- owners, you know. It's our dream. We watch a lot of Hotel, hotel Hell. Hotel Hell. Which app is that? If you want to watch Hulu. something good, watch Hotel okay. Hell. I Gordon watched Ramsey. five of the episodes last night. Yeah, Gordon. It always shows his butt. <laughs> yeah. You it, will see his wait, butt. What? I swear to God, you will see his butt every single episode. Shower time. His bear, Gordon Ramsay's bare shows butt. His bare they ass. love it. I He's swear really to God. Grant, pull his butt I up. swear to God. And then if there's a pool in the hotel, you're seeing his ass in a Speedo. He's okay. wearing a Speedo if he jumps in the pool. <laughs> yep. I got to see these <laughs> cheeks. Grant, pull those butt cheeks up. <laughs> yeah, they would cool. have to exist. I swear, every single one, you see him getting in the shower, and I'm just, I look at Eric, and I'm like, what is going on? Why are we well, seeing Well, now he calls again? it. He knows if they're in the bathroom getting ready. He's like, oh, butt time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get excited. Butt I'm time. like, I think we're about to see his time. butt. Oh, I didn't know his butt 30. Yeah, Holy there's shit. a classic. Right, Dude, it's a lot of that. Cheeks. Look at that's a full moon right there. Damn, it's already butt 15. Get the, get the, fucking, <laughs> the show is 20 minutes of him getting in bathtubs and showers. Oh, look at the time. <laughs> it's butt. It's oh, look at the time. It's that. butt, butt, butt. Make a wish. <laughs> it's like blowing his mind to how much butt cheeks he has. <laughs> yeah, what? Yeah. I shouldn't be stacked like that at this age. It's thick. But he is stacked. He is. Thick man. Sheesh. Those are <laughs> big butt cheeks. <laughs> Yeah, it's great. Every single one. Yep. Speedo. <laughs> Body by Lockheed Martin. Looking like a damn <laughs> fucking jet airplane. <laughs> what happens when you curse for 20 years? Yeah. Keep My favorite tight. thing ever of him, though, is when somebody du- took the voice from him on Hell's Kitchen and dubbed it over footage of him with like the little kids cooking show. And it's oh, just, he's, just, and they're funny. like, they're crying, like, because they're messing up. And he's like, get it together, you little bitch. Like, that would be funny. 
Yeah, he's great. I love Chef Ramsay. Yeah. Was, his episodes on Hot Ones was really fun. He's just sitting there and just losing it because it's uh, everything's so hot. <laughs> like eating chicken wings. That was pretty good. That episode. sounds horrible. Just eating progressively hotter chicken wings. Yeah. Yeah. yeah close. Ooh, up. there's another one. I wasn't kidding. It's 20 <laughs> minutes. And ep- that'd be so funny if it was literally 20 minutes of his butt. <laughs> Just his butt. It's, it's every one, though, I think. It's what? Every, it's every shitty hotel room he goes into, first thing he does is he gets naked in the bathroom and just talks shit on the bathroom. Look at this backsplash. Here, look at this. I don't even know if a backsplash goes in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> this wall is too splashy. I'm soaked. <laughs> He's never be pleased. Damn. What was the first one you just said, Casey? The British accent? It's so what funny. Too cold? Yeah, water. <laughs> yeah. Water's too cold. Get another one, bathtub. <laughs> Damn. <British> yeah. <laughs> the Cockney accent. Have you do you have a good English Cockney accent? I'm bad at accents. I'm really bad at Well then I really want to hear it. Just like Hello. Yeah, <laughs> come on. Hello. Hey bruv. How's it going? Oh, you know, like, I don't Rob, know. Okay. you are <laughs> bad at it, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? Isn't it? Oh yeah. <laughs> Hello. That's one of the hey, few governor. things. Edit. Hey, governor, you want to go on a ride on the trolley? Like, We're gonna take the tube, go down to London. Yeah, it I'm sounds bad. At like it. <laughs> like Borat guy. I don't know. Like I'm bad at him. I'm real bad at it's it. Do it. Do it like in your throat a lot. In it. In it. Like you're kind of mad. In it. Isn't it? Cool. Isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? There it is. <laughs> okay, that's, that's the only good, other it? one I can do. <laughs> brilliant. Brilliant, mate. Uh, and there's yeah. the English flag. <clears throat> there's a, yeah, close up of it. Yeah. There it is. Yeah, Rest in peace, the queen. <laughs> Did she die? Yeah, she's one of the 200,000 probably last year. Oh, okay. Yeah, one of the bigger names. So Not, we, yeah. So do we have a king or a queen now? I don't watch. I don't pitch anything. I don't watch the world. Sorcerer. Is, no, is, is it, it a sorcerer? No, it's a. No, it's Doctor. Doctor. Mil. Milks. Milks. Doctor Milks. Yeah, he's like Milk Dud. <laughs> Doctor Milk Duds. Oh, his family. Oh Dr. yeah. Doctor Milk Duds. Doctor Milk Duds. Am I just crazy, or is Doctor Milk Duds the king now? <laughs> yeah, looks, I've heard that, but I forget. <laughs> Good old Milk Duds. Dud, there he is. Duds McGee. <laughs> Milk Duds McGee. <laughs> Old Duddies. That's where they got a lot of their money is from candy stuff like chocolate. Yeah. Mars bars. I mean, you remember Willie They Wonka, created dude. Mars bars. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he's eaten all the product. Have you ever seen his fingers? <laughs> yes. Do his fingers <laughs> up. He's eaten too many Mars bars. <laughs> what is a Mars bar? I don't know if I ever, I don't know if that was. Isn't it like nougat? Is. It wasn't one of my go-tos either. I think I it's like nougat and chocolate. I haven't had Maybe one. caramel? I don't know. I don't know. Bring it up. Grant, let's get this. <laughs> Grant, also bring up. I'm just kidding. <laughs> let's get two things up those fat Holy fingers. Holy shit. <laughs> yep, that's. That, that Look at that not ring. Coming off. That's not coming off. <laughs> that's for like Holy shit. Unless you get like a saw on it or something. Yeah, that thing is stuck. Where does nails go? It's like when you put a wedding ring like on a growing like tree sapling and then it grows into the tree. That's what happened to his goddamn yeah. pinky. I think he has too much sodium. Can I have some more Mars bars, please, babe? <laughs> oh. Does anyone have any mustard so I can loosen this ring up? Yeah, please. That, that ring, the pinky, the ring finger, is just it's so tight that it's starting to like just bend out. Like you can't even hold it straight. It's just coming off one day. Look at that. He's kind of got like a cool hip hop thing going on too. He like, totally does. Any questions? <laughs> yeah. Any questions are? <laughs> He's one of the people in the walk in watching the people having sex with him. <laughs> <laughs> Just rubbing his hands together, those little He was hands. actually the auditor, m- m- making sure Jack was doing training properly. Yeah, he's from corporate. Isn't this an American job? I don't know why they brought him in, but can you, look at his hand. Damn. You know he has the authority to they import tell Jack everything. how to do it. Mr. Milk <laughs> Duds, Dr. Milk Duds. <laughs> Dr. Milk Duds. Dr. Milk Duds. Like importing, exporting. Export and import. He is worldwide. And his fingers make me want to throw up. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Whoa. Sausage link. Uh, same picture? If you just put it the same picture up again? Oh, his magic. His ring's gone. The ring is missing. We must find the ring. You ever play Carmen San Diego when you were a little boy? Yes, I did. Sure, you did. <laughs> sure, you did. Guy like you? Sure, you did. Sure, did. That was classic. Played that. Played Chex Quest on PC. You guys remember Chex Quest? Chex Quest. 
What's Chex Quest? It was like a first person uh, shooter game for Chex Quest. Like you, you, it would, it would, it would <laughs> you keep saying Chex Quest. <laughs> like Chex Mix. It was like Chex Mix. It was a, a Chex Mix based video game. I remember the little it's a real thing. I remember the little mini golf that was associated with different candies. Did you ever play that? It was on some website. I can't remember. I don't remember that. We would play that all the time in <laughs> high school. And then one time my buddy Christopher and I were looking at ogrish.com, hmm. looking at pictures of dead people in the library. And then our, our screen flashed weird. And Miss Allison, that fucking bitch that worked at the library, she could see what we were looking at. Oh, this is a Chex Mix game. Yeah. Okay. Literally. That's, that's, <laughs> literally a Chex Mix game. It was, it was designed. You bought like a box of Chex Mix. You are and it, so weird. And it came in. It, it, it was. Yeah, I remember uh, video ga- or ga- PC the, games, games coming in. In cereal boxes snacks. instead of toys. They're like, oh, the computers are a thing now. Like, here's a v- free video game. I remember that too. It was that's just great. like a demo. Though. It was like Doom, but with, for kids. It was exactly Chex like West. Doom. Pajama Sam. You know who Pajama Sam is? Is that a free one? Yeah, Pajama Sam basically is this little scoundrel who's always in his PJs, and he <laughs> solves all these crazy mysteries in his attic. Oh my cool. gosh, does he ever get dressed? What's what's no. going on in his attic all the time? <laughs> Why is mysteries just happening in the attic? Well, his friend's a car with a face. And then <laughs> 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 he lives in a fucking dream. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Pajama <laughs> Sam. <laughs> there he is. PJ Sam. What's it say? No need to hide when it's dark outside. That's sweet. No need to hide when it's dark outside. (laughs) 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 We're having fun. Look at PJ. Yeah, Pajama Sam, Chex Quest. You need to look him up. I've never played him. (laughs) (laughs) William's been in his room for two days playing Chex (laughs) Quest. You could probably get Chex Quest on, like, as an app or a video game on your phone now. No. Yeah. I need to look it up. I mean, we're currently in a fucking collection event on Balloons Tower Defense 6, so I need to fucking... I need to do that, and Casey and I, we mentioned it a little less. I have to do my taxes. I still haven't done my taxes. I found this <laughs> yeah. nice man who's going to help me do it. Oh, awesome. It's not too, but I need to send him shit. It's horrible. I don't know why I wait till the last fucking second to do everything Casey and then stress relate. my ass out. I think this is yeah. the last year of yours? like regular taxes I'm going to have done. And then I have to like, after this, like be, I'm going to have to go to like 1099s and stuff. And cause I'm be like get, getting like, yeah, see, paid. I don't know how that shit. Yeah. I don't know. And I'm, I got to talk to someone about how to like, what's the best way to like keep track of all my payments for shows and outside stuff. Cause now it's like. I turned in, I moved, when I moved here, I had my savings and I got like a little part-time gig. I, I had one W-2 this year and I made $6,000 on paper, but I had like my savings. So I was like, yeah. but now I'm like, I'm getting paid for comedy and doing so. I got to like learn how to keep Did track Did you do your that. taxes? I, you I sent all my information to my, my dad's account. Because you don't <laughs> want, you don't want the IRS coming after you because they specifically, I know they don't like people sometimes with the tattoos of mustaches on their fingers. You have to be super careful with the IRS, man. Can you actually just blur out every mustache appearance? You, know, you can't write be, that off. <laughs> I can't write it off. Yeah, not a tax it's not a tax, <laughs> not a tax write off. You'll be doing mustache faces and fucking sing sing with a damn tattoo like that. Oh my god, you could probably write off all your Walgreens prints. I probably could. You could. That's work related. It is. But I'm not incorporated as an LLC. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're talking taxes. <laughs> I actually I tried to incorporate as an LLC and I messed up and it was actually two lowercase L's and a C instead of the capital. So capital it work. So it just doesn't count as like. If as, you did an LLC, what would it be called? Nicholas I, Comedy or Actually <laughs> You know what's funny I think it would be Just be called Nicholas LLC Because that's, those are my initials Nicholas Leslie Sapaglia Is that <laughs> Has that ever been taken before? Is that like Getting so. a domain name Getting an LLC I wonder how that works I wonder if a lot of them Have been taken I, don't uh, know. I bet I could get Nicholas LLC maybe. Dot LLC Maybe <laughs> Grant look into it for him What would yours be? I don't know On it <laughs> Thanks very what about cool. you? Mine? Mm-hmm. Crabman Productions. <laughs> Hellhound Boys. The Hellhound Don't, Boys. The Hellhound Boys. With oh, the like Z? It. Yeah. <laughs> With the Z, it's like the yeah. Hardy Boys from WWE. But yeah, but it's, <laughs> it's spelled B-O-I-Z. Yeah. Yeah, it's like uh, motorcycles are not a game, LLC, and stuff like that. <laughs> cool. <laughs> like, motorcycle. That's taken. Motorcycle lifestyle. That's, <laughs> that's a line of me. <laughs> that has to be taken. Yeah. Motorcycle lifestyle? <laughs> it's hard to say. You can Nicholas. do like an underscore in between motorcycle and lifestyle. I mean, there's different ways you could play that, maybe. Yeah. 
Probably do an emoji in the middle too. Do a zero for yeah. an O. Zero for an O. <laughs> that emoji. <laughs> There's new emojis. I was looking at the emojis recently. There are people in showers now taking showers, like a steamy shower. What's yeah, the like, shower thing? I yeah. typed in clean one time and it came up with soap and then a shower and then someone in the shower. I was like, yeah, what's the one going in the shower? I don't know. Whenever I'm flirting with the dame, uh, a nice little dame lady, I'm just like, she's like, send me a shower pic, and I send that emoji. And you say clean? Clean. <laughs> Fully clean. Fully clean. Ready for penetration. <laughs> Yikes. All washed Yikes. up. <laughs> All washed up. <laughs> I got behind my ears and everything. <laughs> yeah, you got to get back there. Yeah. You start smelling sour, yeah, and then you start you doing in the shower and then your girlfriend starts freaking out every time you blow your nose in the shower i can't help it boogers get on the side of the thing i'm working on scraping the boogers off <laughs> on the shower curtain i think you should just let them build up like the gum wall mm. no <laughs> can't do that or winnie's gonna disappear She'll take Winnie back. <laughs> She'll take yeah. Winnie back. You kidnap Winnie when when you need something done you're like you'll get your Winnie I back. I throw it on my neighbors where my downstairs neighbors porch yeah it's bullshit it's so dusty so he down has there. to go ask for it <laughs> and we don't like the neighbor downstairs can i um <laughs> yeah she doesn't guys talk to us. can i get my winnie off your balcony <laughs> can i get my winnie this is the third time this week you drop your winnie down here <laughs> <laughs> you know keep you know hold on this winnie <laughs> it's so funny <laughs> you need a you need a so like a little um just like a little uh, strap around it, so you can wear it around like a like a bag. But it's just a, oh, just yeah, your winnie. Just a weenie. <laughs> 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 yeah, really good. You're walking around with a little weenie. You're in like your silk pajamas, like Paddington Bear. You're just having to go down there. You're just sleeping cap on and <laughs> try my winnie. I'm sure winnie. she would be horrified. I'm sure she would just think, "What is going on here? Who are these people?" Because I'm already stomping up late at night all the time. Yeah, look, you could just stra you could just sew a, a strap to each ear, wear it around like a bag. Well, you need to think about it. They probably have the leashes on Amazon. <laughs> Dude, you might be able to patent that. Shark patent wearable <laughs> mushies. Yeah, well, I need to think about it. I've been thinking of ideas, so maybe that one's it. Mm. Could be, yeah, just little stra straps for... <laughs> you have like a metal like a wallet chain but for the women that, yeah. nice. that could be it that could be, be a hot new item dude thank you Nicholas you're welcome yeah. Well, yeah we've really been looking for those ideas are you doing people. okay no I'm about to vomit <laughs> everywhere something's horribly wrong I've been feeling sick as shit for like four days now I'm kidding he's not that sick yeah I'm, I don't know Casey see me sicker I, yeah he's not even kick flipping right now look Grant threw it up I'll tell you who Ill, I'll tell you who ain't kick flipping <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, I ain't doing any kick flips. These are the fucking <laughs> <laughs> case of top three. Grant, get it right. Get it ready. <laughs> Sorry, <Yeah>. Grant. Ready. <laughs> I'll tell you who doesn't do no kick flips. Mm. This is the top three worst people you don't want to end up on the train ride with. Fuck. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, so type it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't want to end up on the train ride with. Yeah. You don't. This is definitely, <laughs> definitely something I wrote before I got here. Don't worry about that. Okay, there we go. Very cool. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of it's off screen. <laughs> yeah, a lot of it's off screen. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, shit. Number one, it's already been spoiled. Oh. Miss Pauline. Throw her up. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> That's Miss Pauline. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's worked <laughs> as a personal CPA for over 40 years now. Miss Pauline is covered in these ancient artifacts. And if you dare get on her bad side, <laughs> yeah. you're not getting off that train in one piece. Miss Pauline is friends with the conductor of the train. And she's one of the worst ladies. Look at that woman. Yeah, <laughs> she looks hideous. I love the brooch. Yeah, look, she has. I see two, at least two. She's got a zebra on brooch right on now. Yeah, that's a zebra brooch. It's a zebra. She loves zebra. going on safaris, and she never pays full, full price. That's bullshit. People don't realize that. <laughs> How does she get takes a people? It she's takes using people her days friends. of their life. She's friends with the conductors. She's, she's she's using her connections with the conductors. It's like Mary one. Stop using your friends discount. 
Fucking nepotism, it's bullshit. Yeah. Nepotism at its finest. <laughs> Get a room, you two. <laughs> With the damn Miss Pauline and the fucking conductor always hooking up during the drain ride. Stop. <sighs> Trailing. Um, Are they together? Does They're he, totally together. Does he hook up with They're her good. privates on the bottom or the one that's under her chin? Oh, Nick, please. <laughs> Don't talk about Miss Pauline like that. But yes, both. <laughs> okay. Miss <laughs> Pauline's always going on these crazy safaris and bringing back like trunkfuls of ivory, which is totally legal. Totally yeah, illegal. You, yeah. And again, it takes those people, I think, weeks out of their life from their families to go take these people in the safaris and she's not tipping or anything. No. Doesn't Tip? She's not leaving shit. What she do? When, what, what did she do when her one of her gods got eaten by a tiger? She doesn't leave a tip. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> She's complaining. She's complaining. This seems dangerous. <laughs> it seems hot out here. Yeah, no shit. It is. Yeah, hot. no shit, bitch. <laughs> Serengeti. <laughs> yeah, literally in the damn San Andreas Fault right now. <laughs> She was in that Idris Elba. <laughs> yeah, she was. She's in the Idris Elba movie with the scary tiger. Beast. She's in oh. that beast. She's in it. Just like so extra? It's at the beginning, they're like, beast? What is it about this woman? No, it's about the tiger. Like, literally, they see her walking in and they all make jokes. What is it about they're like, this what is it, this hag that's coming in here? Or... Oh, a tiger. Oh, that makes more sense. <laughs> but yeah, they thought when look, she walked I mean, in look the at, set, that's what they're saying. Look at There's all the, the little mini ivory p- toothpicks she fast fashioned yeah, those onto are, those ne- onto that necklace. That's not cool. Those are bones of her victims. That's such a waste of ivory tusks are so big, and she had them shaved down to just little tiny yeah, and things. And we like, like that. elephants around yeah, here, it so it's bullshit. Mm-hmm. Do we know where she lives? Yeah, I know exactly where she lives because cool. we ride the train together every day. So it's over the same stop, St. Thomas Avenue. All right, well, oh, we're, no. we're, we're going to ride the train today. After this, we're going to get that. We're going to get her. Good luck. She will she can tell when you have ill intentions towards her. She can sense it. She'll get off early. Oh, she'll know my yeah, ass. I mean, she's lived like, in this era and get it. I mean, your senses get super sharpened out on the grasslands. She's got cat-like reflexes. <laughs> Pretty much. Better believe I mean, it. From all her safaris <laughs> and watching, she's... She studied. She's studying in the, the high hills of the Serengeti. Oh, yeah. And I'll tell you who else didn't even study there. Mm. Number two, Jake Tremble. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> That's, uh, Where's he training at? <laughs> Let's go there. Jake Let's Trimble. get Drake. You think, he, think Jake will help us take down... Hell no. <laughs> Him and Miss Pauline are our best friends. They have best friends? <laughs> yeah. And Jake Trimble, god damn, I hate this guy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he looks <laughs> bad. Yeah. Well, he's nothing but bad news. That's safe to assume. Yeah. Jake Trimble was born in a goddamn coloscopy bag and uh, grew up to be- this came a long way, looks t- like. Twice the size of a normal man. <clears throat> Yeah, he's got these huge pecs. I think he has, uh, what do you call it? Mast- masticasima. 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 <laughs> yeah. Masticasima syndrome. Yeah. 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 And he's got four more cases of it down his stomach. These are all boobs. They're not abs. He's set up like a freak. <clears throat> are you just hating because he has the same amount of nipples <laughs> as you? Set up like a freak. He's set up like a freak. <laughs> Yeah, but for, <laughs> from one guy with multiple nipples uh, like to another. Like a mama another, dog. He's yeah, set up I like a mama dog. I just think you, you're you worried about him taking the number one nipple. You're yeah, really going to take Jake Tribble's side nipples? on this? Me? Yeah. He has six nipples like Rottweiler. You yeah, already know what it yeah, is. Yeah, Casey's got him. But look, he's saying right now that that guy's also got... He, well, he's, he's got, got eight. The, he's got how eight? many? Yeah, he's, he's got, got eight. He's got it's eight. Not, he's got six boobs on the torso and two up top. Yeah. You're, dude, I think you're jealous of his nips. No, dude, I knew you'd be Team Tremble. <laughs> I'm not Team Tremble, dude. I just, <laughs> I just want you to take a look in the mirror and be honest with yourself, Casey. No. What's wrong with this guy to you? They also call this guy the Bastard of Sussex. He's from East <laughs> Sussex. <sighs> yeah, but so are you. You're mad he took your title? He's hey, a total from bitch. East Sussex. <laughs> <laughs> Casey. <laughs> from East Sussex. He always sits really close to you on the train, even when no one else is on there, and he bullies you. He pats you on the head like a little boy. And then... That's why I don't want And he goes, oh, somebody's not having fun. <laughs> oh, I hate when people <sighs> call know, you out like that. Yeah, oh, it's like sorry. it's none of your business. <laughs> Being a bit of a snow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Fuck. laughs> it isn't none of your business. I had a long day. Calls you a wanker. You Will you be a little... Ponce. Yeah. <laughs> you want to play with my chain? 
<laughs> and he has that chain. I mean, that's a dangerous, that's a weapon. Yeah, dude, he's not even wearing it around his neck, you know. No, and he never does. He hates when that <laughs> smell gets on his neck. And it also, I think, irritates the stuff going on down there. Yeah, it, might. Like it metal probably just stuff. it just rubs against his lower nipples. Yeah, and it gets it all raw, and then he gets a staph infection. Yeah, people walk by, they're like, those things are really red looking today. <laughs> but I think, do something, man. <laughs> yeah, dude. Go to the doctor or something, man. What you say, me? Yeah, please go to the doctor. Your nipples are like really red today. Are you taking the piece? <clears throat> now, <laughs> yeah, I hate this guy. He rides the train every day. And number three, let's just say it's not going to make me any happier. Okay. Pull it up first, Grant, then I'll reveal the name. Oh, uh, wow. <laughs> yeah. I ain't getting on that train. Yeah. Wow. Code name? Agent Scream. Agent Scream? Okay. <laughs> I'd kind of like him. Yeah. <laughs> you would. From a distance. Yeah, this isn't the distance. type of guy you want to take a train ride with, brother. I'll tell you that right well, now. Well, I just want to know where he's going. He's going wherever you're going. He's following, <laughs> he's following, he's following you. you. He's following you. Okay, he's following yeah. me. All right, so we're, I'm going right to the police station. <laughs> Good luck. He's they're on his payroll. Oh shit! Agent Scream. Yeah, it's That's like right. at the I cartel. Didn't even think about that. He's an agent. They get the guys on the payroll from the police, yeah. and then a policeman pulls you over, and the next thing you know, a, a cop is shooting you because mm -hmm. they're on the payroll. Why don't you go ahead and step out for me? Bang! Right into heaven. Right into heaven. Bang. Step out of the car and enter heaven. What? Wait, nobody's up here. <laughs> Where is everybody? <laughs> Why are we all so close together? Yeah. Hi. Yeah, Agent Scream, he was deep undercover with the Mongols motorcycle gang. Oh. For over nine months. Dangerous. <laughs> See, my family was a Hells Angel family, so. Well. Uh, now I really don't like him. Of course not. He got totally tatted up from head to toe, from balls to nose. And um, <laughs> he could have a King Edward. He might have yeah. a King Edward. He's probably got two. <laughs> yeah, he probably got a dang little switchblade down there. Cut you up real nice. Like, He's probably got the royal ladder. You know what I'm saying? A little dangler. His little danglies. Yeah. The dangly went. Then let's just say he branched out to go into business for himself. Hmm. Entrepreneur. Private security? Entrepreneur. <laughs> Private security. He was in Kosovo, Guam, Granada. All these devious Subcontractor black site operation. Is he CIA? He's CIA. <laughs> He's AIC too. Already in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> He's, that's right. right. That he lives the over the border. Is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, the train is like the Polar Express. So it's only in the coldest parts of Canada. Mm. Oh, so scary. And what's his name is always on the train from the Polar Express movie? Tom Hanks. Tom, Tom Hanks. Hanks. Yeah. Hot chocolate may interest you in it. Hmm. Please, Swiss Miss. Please. Yeah. Swiss Miss. More marshmallows, please. <laughs> oh, sorry, we're out of marshmallows. What else can I do to make your stay enjoyable? Mini marshmallows. We do have that. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> good. Scary good. stuff. Good thing you had those in reserve. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we need marshmallows. We always got the minis in reserve. <laughs> so, okay, I have a question for you then. Out of these three people that you don't like? Yeah. He's never been asked a question uh, about his list. Yeah. I guess. All right, here we go. Yeah. We can see how this goes. Yes. Yeah. Out of these three people that you hate the most, fuck, Mary kill. Um, Easy. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to fuck Jake Tremble. <laughs> <laughs> um, kill, definitely Miss Pauline. Okay. Yo, <laughs> I love animals too much, and she yeah. can't stand the side yeah, of them. Yeah, I agree with that. And so you're going to marry Agent Scream? <laughs> <laughs> Code name Agent Scream. <laughs> Yo, we never know his actual first name. Yeah, that's true. Just, Code, <laughs> so you're going to be... You're going to be, I mean, be Casey Scream. <laughs> <You're gonna> be, <laughs> no, Casey Codename Agent Scream. <laughs> Well, yeah, all right, man. That's not that bad of a deal. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. a cool name. I'm okay with that. Yeah, you just now you're Casey Scream instead of Casey Rocket. Damn, and he and he hates physical touch because he's been through so much in his life. So you're really gonna have to break down his barriers. But I'm willing to take that risk. Yeah. Oh, I thought maybe get you were gonna a... marry him because you knew you'd never have to touch him. No, get him a <laughs> winnie. Oh, we're already married. We might as well freaking damn go at it. You get it. Get him like a Winnie or something. If he really doesn't like physical touch, it'll get him used to cuddling on something. He looks like a badass. Just get one in the shape of like a skull, a skull or something. Get him a skull. Or like a scalp. Oh, get him some scalps. Yeah, like a 
nasty. Get him a quilt made of scalps. I'd love that. He would. That's what they did in Kosovo. But that is a hell of a train. I would (laughs) pray to God I'm never on a train like that. I mean, I love Amtrak's and everything. And who's the captain who's running the damn thing, who's allowing all these people on there? It seems like it's dangerous for folks. Tom Hanks, look, he's right there. He's, He's the conductor. He's letting people on. He's checking tickets, giving out hot chocolate with mini is marshmallows. That, is that what Tom Hanks looks like in the movie? I didn't realize who that was at first. I forgot he looked like that. I've never seen that movie. I've just seen the... Tr- I remember when... Christmas it's, classic. Christmas classic. Yeah, well... Um, I just the, remember seeing parts of it and the animation was really like... This is weird. It was like live action. It's scary. <laughs> the, the conductor is uh, first Admiral Rascal. He was really good. He was a uh, grandson of the Little Rascals. Yeah, oh. classic. That's how he yeah. gets okay. out of nepotism in Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> Uncle Rascals. Uncle, <laughs> Uncle Rascals. Oh, darn. <laughs> Silly Rascals. Yeah, I really wanted to take a train, and now I'm a little scared. Yeah, because these guys could be on the, any train you get on. There's not that many either. There's like two trains in the country. Nor- oh. Yeah, north. And one of them crashed. North, south, and, south, Pal- and east, east west. Palestine that one time. Let's just say these guys are coming to a train near you. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> are they ever on monorails? And they'll be here sooner than you think. Are they on a sub- monorail? No. Yes. Are yeah. they on subways? No. Are they on subways? Yeah. No. Just okay. Straight. I'm only going by subway here in Austin. Yeah. But they're on the L. The, uh, they're on the L train in Chicago all the time. <laughs> on the L train. Gosh. Yeah. I, man, I remember when I was living in New York briefly. <laughs> Fucking, I was on a train late one night and I was drunk and there was some scary looking homeless man with like some bloody ass foot and all these bandages on it. And he was slowly walking towards me and like, <laughs> just jumped off I finally train. got off on an earlier stop. It scared me. <laughs> Gave me the creeps really bad. It probably would have been fine, but so oh you got those, God. you got that, those, uh, those Miss Pauline senses. In yes. certain moments I do, if it's for fun and snicker bars you know? in the apartment, I'm pretty good at that. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you? I've been having a really big sweet tooth recently. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. What? I was gonna say he's, he's getting he's get, he's getting off trains and using the the ill will senses of Miss Pauline. Are you sure you don't you're not just Miss Pauline undercover right now? Because Casey would lose it right now. I would lose my shit, and it would put a serious divide in our friendship. <laughs> I'm not Miss Pauline. I swear to God. <laughs> that sounds believable. Casey Nicholas, I swear to y'all, I'm not Miss Pauline. That's something Miss Pauline would say. <laughs> no, something. it's not. Why are you throwing me under the bus, Erica? You already said I stink up the whole place. You're right. It gets really stinky. <laughs> and That's she's Admiral always Rascal. on safari, not taking showers. So, whoa, look at all his things. That's a serious, uh, that's a career military man. Look at all his things he's got on this shirt. Yeah, he was in Kosovo with Agent Scream. <laughs> Gosh, that was such a bloody massacre. They wrote that song about Kosovo because of him. Down in Kosovo, right? (laughs) Kokomo. Kokomo. Oh. (laughs) Down in Coco. No, I think it's Kosovo. Funny. (laughs) Yeah, it might be Kosovo. (laughs) Jamaica. (laughs) Down in Kosovo. Aruba. That's where that poor girl got got by the. Natalie Holloway. The Aruba got the Aruba getters got her. The Aruba getters. That's a train story for another day. <laughs> the Aruba. <laughs> <laughs> who was the guy who was going out with the Peterson person? I was randomly watching the a guy? Dateline 2020 on Sunday. This is a, obviously a very old story, but man, he had that lady believe in his ass. Scott Peterson. Scott Peterson. Yeah. Well, that's that where I'm from. Friend. That's where I'm from. You knew Fresno. him? Oh. Oh, I don't. I didn't know him, but I've seen. I've seen. Uh, his, some of his sisters still <clears throat> don't believe he knew him. Have you been to his statue? Doesn't he have a statue? In no, he does. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> no, yeah. It's a. Uh, it's a. Actually, it's a mural. <laughs> cool. No. Yeah, the poor girlfriend. Yeah. He had that girlfriend who didn't, he was telling her he was in Europe going and he was running on the cobblestones, but they were slippery. <laughs> he was pretty detail oriented in his weird lies. He was telling her, oh my gosh, it was just weird. It was wild. I remember seeing, uh, seeing his girlfriend at Ben and Jerry's. What'd you say? Really? The other woman? The other woman, yeah. Was, like, so I just, sorry. Wa- I just watched her not be able to afford like two pints of ice cream. Her, her car declined, so she put one back. 
And she bought one. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. 100%. I get it. Uh, Yikes. It really took a toll on her. Yeah, it was wild. As it would. It's so crazy. Did you say anything like, I'm so sorry? No, I said. She probably wouldn't want that. I had no reason to say anything. Yeah. yeah, she yeah. Was, she's already like, it was, this was after like all the trial stuff. She's had enough people like get in her face. But I would have told if, if it wasn't for the trial, I would have been like, listen, bitch. <laughs> listen, bitch. You got played. You got played. <laughs> you can't even afford two pints of ice cream right now. Oh, damn. Damn, bitch. It's but Ben and eight. Jerry, what did you say? It was Ben and Jerry's? Uh, or what What kind of ice cream? It was a Ben and Jerry's shop. I think Notoriously expensive ice cream. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. pretty good. Pretty tasty. Pretty tasty. I think she was getting Chunky Monkey. Cookies and milk. That's my favorite. Mm. <laughs> Do you like mint? Cookies and milk? Sure. The green kind. I like it. The green kind. I love the green I, kind. It's okay. I can handle it, but it's not my go-to. I'd have your to go-to? Say, I like chocolate peanut butter. Ooh, any ooh, any like any combination with chocolate and peanut butter in it, I'm with it. Or cookie Reese's. dough ice cream. You know that one's good too. Ooh, we got some good Reese's mm -hmm. ice, ice cream bars. Yeah. Highly recommend. Yum. Yeah. Ooh, highly recommend. I ooh, like them. now they're, we're talking tasty. Super tasty. I like those like good humor. Sunday treat bars They're or like something with the little balls that. all over the bar, oh, okay. like the strawberry shortcake and the chocolate eclairs, but it's peanut butter and chocolate. <sighs> Ooh. Woo! Yum. Ooh. Damn! Go. Eat a couple of those. Eat a couple Reese's eggs. <laughs> You're good to go. Yum! And then watch Hotel Hell. Hotel <laughs> Hell. Watch it. Check it out. Watch for the hotels. Stay for the butt cheeks. Yep. Mostly That's true. Yeah, I don't cool. know. I don't think I can watch it with my girlfriend. She, she wouldn't be able to contain herself. You know? <laughs> well, think about it. William covers my eyes. <clears throat> but you do this, huh? He makes me. He goes, okay, cover your eyes. And but you, you do it like this. Okay, William. Do you yeah, you're not. No, creepy. I have to because I don't want to see it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she. there's no way. I don't want to see that. Just Yeah, you wouldn't be able to contain yourself. <laughs> I don't want to see his butthole. Uh, they show his butthole? <laughs> Fine, if you do. I mean, I'll stop covering your eyes if you want me to, if that's what we're getting at here. I'm sorry. I don't sorry want to see his butthole. <laughs> oh, my cheeks are all chafed. And, he's just, and then he opens <laughs> it up and you see them. his I actual he, drop, he drops his uh, pants and he goes, I'm feeling a little cheeky. <laughs> he does stuff like that. Apparently. <laughs> that's it. Oh and then he turns God. the song on. The song on in the walk-in freezer. In the walk-in no. freezer. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get up. Gotta get going. What was the song? I can't remember what we were saying. All right, he, Nicholas. Whoa. We're pretty much towards the end of it, and you are you are the recipient. We've all three gotten you this. You're the recipient of this wonderful. <laughs> now, this is a fun candle, okay? This okay. is a candy. This is a maple bacon candle, Nicholas. Thank you so much for being Thank on you. our Your podcast scent. today. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Smell it. What do you think? Tasty, tasty. This is gonna be so like great. Bacon. Do you yeah. like bacon? I like bacon, but even funnier, it's like oh, I'm gonna light it in the morning. Ooh, yeah, and, and, then, the and then, my then then my roommate is gonna wake up and be like, Ooh, "Who made bacon?" Breakfast? And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be sitting there eating cocoa puffs. Yeah, it's oh, I made, I made breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, perfect. Hell yeah, I like this. And it's a color changing label. When it gets hot, oh, it does. It changes another color. Mm. High tech stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of such a thing. Yeah, have I. That's wild. That's awesome. I can't wait. I'll do a time. I'll light it and I'll do a time lapse to make a, a reel about the, the color changing label. And tag William. Ooh, tag well, William. It lasts for uh, a year. Twenty four to forty eight hours. Twenty four to forty eight of burn time. Oh, That's wow. pretty good. Does the audience? Do does the audience want to smell? You guys smell that? Do you guys like that? Comment down below. Mmm. <laughs> Comment your favorite actually, smell down below. Everyone use code WMS to comment your favorite <laughs> smell below. Yes. <laughs> and William yeah. will pick his favorite smell and send you a candle. You'll fly Ooh, out to maybe. LA. Yeah, we'll fly Allegedly. out to LA. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. You can stay with Casey and Erica and I. And <laughs> In an Airbnb. Yeah, we're going to figure it out. Well, Nicholas, right. thank you so <laughs> thank much for, <laughs> thank for, you for being on the show today. Where can folks find you? Thank you for having me. Um, you can find me on all the social medias under Nick Fitzwell. Um, you could look up Drinking Coffee with Nick on YouTube, uh, the High Noon Podcast on YouTube. Uh, no, that's about everything. Cool. 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 Yeah, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, friends. Bye.
Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of The William Montgomery Show. Send your questions, artwork, and manifestos to the William Montgomery Show at gmail.com. Leave William a voicemail at 737-471-1098. Never miss an episode of The William Montgomery Show by subscribing to The William Montgomery Show channel on YouTube and anywhere podcasts are sold. Check out William online at william.f.montgomery1 on Instagram. For more William Montgomery, check out Kill Tony on YouTube and see him live at the Vulcan Gas Company in Austin, Texas every Monday night. For more of me, Brett Erickson, check out Issues with Andy on Patreon. Find me on Twitter and Instagram at IBrettMyPants. This episode of The William Montgomery Show was recorded at Permanent Record Studios right here in the heart of Austin. The William Montgomery Show is produced by William Montgomery and Brett Erickson. The William Montgomery Show is a Fanny Co. production. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Shh. Who the fuck said that? I'm trying to have fun tonight.